has five articles on the morning. Um, I'm Gus Willing. I was elected to be the school moderator. I taught for one meeting, but uh, for the year, and um, so you're stuck with me. Um, uh, I don't know how to wait people want to go. We have any here for this first time at a town or school meeting? Okay, well then I will try to explain the drill that we go through um, and welcome. So thank you for coming tonight. It's great to have anybody who is here. Um, so basically these meetings get run by Robert's Rules of Order. I interpret them as best I can. Uh, we work off the five articles that, are, that were cast out at the desk as you came in and were uh, on front porch forum and I think a few other places. My role is simply to facilitate the discussion or debate that you want to have. Um, I've talked to a couple people about the articles and how they're worn and some of them are imprecise so I know we plan to offer some amendments to them as we go through it. Um, uh, you're basically functioning. The, the school board, which is up here, uh, gave us this warning, and uh, you're functioning, in essence, as the legislature to decide whether that what they put in front of us is the action we want to take. Um, everybody's voice is equal. Um, we're going to try to do this without setting up the microphones, but if people are having a hard time hearing, please interrupt, and the microphones will get rolled out for a small group tonight. And if I'm not speaking loud enough, tell me. Um, uh, the basic function of this meeting is to try to address each other with civility, to speak to the issues, uh, and to speak to the moderator, not necessarily to each other. Um, please, when I call on you, identify yourself. I'll go back and forth across the room once you've spoken. If other people haven't, you may have to wait a while before I call on you a second time. If you'd like to have a side conversation, especially for those of us, including me, that don't hear as well as we used to, the background noise can be disconcerting, so please take the con side conversations outside. Um, we can um, have amendments to articles. We can have amendments to amendments. That's about as far as we can go. We can need to dispose of an amendment to an amendment before we have a further amendment. Um, Disagreement is fine, um, and passionate disagreement is fine, but let's not make it personal. I don't think we've got two contributions in front of us today. If you're confused about what we're about to do, uh, please say point of order, point of information, or just say, could you stop? I'm confused. If you think I've made a mistake in my ruling or my, the way I'm proceeding, you, can, uh, you should tell me that. You can challenge the, the ruling of a moderator, and you can overrule a moderator. Um, if that is what's, if I'm making a mistake, or at least if in the judgment of half of you have made a mistake, and we should proceed in a different way. To end debate, it takes a two-thirds um, motion, and you do need to be recognized um, to call what's called, usually called calling the question. You can't just shout it out. Um, but if a whole bunch of people shout it out, that's also usually an indication that uh, at least some of you are tired of the debate. Uh, and I may ask periodically, are you ready for the question? So those are, I think, functionally the rules of this meeting. Um, it's a beautiful evening out. I hope we get out early enough to enjoy a little bit of it, but we'll be here as long as you want to be here. So that, Article 1 is to elect a school district Treasurer. And are there any nominations for the Office of School District Treasurer? Uh, I will nominate Perry Ormsby. Do we have a second? I second. Are there any further nominations for Mary Ormsby to serve as School District Treasurer? Hearing none, could I have a motion that we close nominations and ask the clerk to cast one ballot for Mary Ormsby to serve as School District Treasurer? So moved. We have a second. Second. All those in favor of ending the debate and having the, the clerk cast one the ballot for Mary Ormsby, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Article 2 reads, shall the voters of the Callis School District approve a grant of an option agreement from the Callis School District to the town of Callis, which gives the town of Callis
us the right to purchase the real estate upon which the Callis School District, Callis Elementary School is currently located from the Callis School District or its successors in interest to the purchase price of $1 in the event the property is no longer used for educational purposes. Did somebody like to move that article? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we are ready for discussion. Um, I'd like to amend Article 2. Okay. So, um, rather than reading, shall the voters of the Cal School District approve the grant of an option agreement, I'd like to amend to read, shall the voters of the Cal School District authorize the school board to approve a grant of an option agreement? So, rather than the voters here tonight approving this agreement now, you're authorizing your school board to approve this agreement in the future. So, that's how we were hoping it would actually be. Yeah. Is there a second to the amendment? Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded, so it's open to discussion on the amendment. Peter. I just have a question. Point of information, I guess. Please speak, speak up. I, I just have a question as to what difference that makes. So, Jim, there's a, there's a question from a voter. Jim Barlow is the town's attorney. Town's attorney of, not the school's attorney, and he is being asked the question of why this amendment? What difference does it make? Well, I'm going to ask if there's no objection to have someone who doesn't live in town speak to this issue. Absolutely. No objection, you may speak. Sure. So, so the question is, why is this amendment necessary? What's different between what's sure. written and um, the amendment? By way of a little bit of background, these documents were originally proposed and discussed between the school board and the select board back in January. Um, at the time, they were presented as drafts and were part of a discussion, but have not yet been formalized and agreed upon by the school district and by the town. There are changes that will need to be made. Um, there's some language in there that needs to be tweaked. There's some, um, the basic purpose of them will, need, will remain the same but there are things that need to be modified in order to make them truly effective. So what you would be doing is authorizing the school board to effectively approve these after those changes have been, non-substantive changes have been made. The difference being that we're not actually asking, they're not asking for you to approve the language right now. That would not be actually a good thing, authorizing them to approve the language after these changes have been put into place. Okay? Would that be in consultation with the select board? Yes, that would be in consultation with the select board, hopefully with the with the district's attorney, because this is a legal document that they are they are drafting and grant the uh, legal rights that are granted to the town, so that we can get those those last details worked out. There's a hand up in the board if you want to answer the question. That's what I was going to ask. What's the big deal between the town? Okay, great. So while Jim's here and standing, um, would it be putting too fine a point or would it be a, to the betterment to, to um, instead state authorized the Cowles Elementary School Board? So it's clear that we're distinguishing between a future board come July 1, the merge board. Um, we will have these done by July 1, John. I very, very much anticipate. The purpose is to have this taken care of before July okay. 1. So I don't think that that's so it's clear. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That passage from Dallas. Could I offer a friendly amendment that would put July 1 um, so to authorize the school board by July 1, 2019? Yeah. Yeah. If you accept that, as I would accept that amendment. Maybe amendments. Oh, I would accept that friendly amendment. Okay, further discussion? Yes. Okay. I'm Craig Lyon. I had a, a couple of questions. Um, one is how are educational purposes defined? And perhaps that's not all worked out yet. Um, I could foresee a unified school district board saying, well, oh, we're going to have a basket weaving course for adults oh. Thursday evenings. 
seven. So there's an educational purpose. So I'd like to see that defined. And that leads into my perhaps larger question, which is, will we, the voters, uh, get to see the final language prior to he's shaking his head? I can, I can, I can, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm thinking yeah. while I'm holding okay. that stuff out. Please, <laughs> uh, will we get a chance to see the language before the school board may approve it? Will it be available online or to pick up copies or, I'm assuming, of course, the school board meetings are open so we could attend and, and participate, but will we, you know, I just walked in, I've got these four documents, oh God, left my glasses in my truck. There's not time to read all this right now. I want to digest this all, but this isn't the final version, so I'd like a chance to digest what's coming. So I, I think the question then to the school board is, will you make the final agreement available for comment before you Yes, yeah, so, so these documents are on the school. They're available now at Calais Elementary School and at the Washington Central Office and on the website. Um, and definitely once we have our final versions, we would also put those out to the public and they would be part of our packet for our meetings, so that would be a public information as well, yes. So whenever the, the meetings are warned, would there be a note of final language right, so now available or agenda. Yeah, it would be a, a, an item in the agenda. Yeah. Right, and it would be part of our action agenda to improve the final document. This will happen to you next month, either May or June, because we technically see the exist in which July. Well, can't hear. Can't hear. Can't hear. So the this would be the there are May, June, and July meetings. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be either our May school board meeting or June school board meeting. Yes. So and, uh, and also it would probably be a joint meeting between the school board and the select board to review and <coughs> make any tweaks. So then Craig, it would also be on the select board social media agenda. And we'd also be on the town's website, which trust me, it's a lot easier to find stuff on the town's website than the school board's website. So I've got at least two chances to, right. miss, to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. At least. Can't find the class. Thank you. Yes, Peter. Peter Harvey, another point of information. Just, uh, it looks like the town could end up owning the land, but not the building. And how would that work? Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Please uh, advise us. Um, so, so this two, I, I think I'll cover your point and I'll cover the earlier question too, Mr. Linehead. Um, with regard to what does it mean to be used for educational purposes, the language that's currently drafted is um, if the premises have ceased to be occupied and used by the district or its successor and interest for on-site education with children under an accredited academic curriculum for a period of 180 days. The notion being that it's not asking. Okay. And then to your, to your question, um, could we end up with just the land and not the building? Um, or vice versa? And, and how would that affect how the it, building it, wouldn't, would it, it isn't intended to be that. Um, it's currently drafted to be um, an exclusive and irrevocable option to purchase improved real estate, so improved, this, these are the improvements, located in the town of Callis, Washington County, State of Vermont, known as the Callis Elementary School Building, and the land upon which the same is situated. So it's the building, intention for the building and the land. It's in the option agreement. In, okay. in the language of the option agreement. But that's, that's what this means. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what that means, sir. And that's not what this means, I don't think, for more. Um, we're not on that one yet, are we? We're on our yeah, yeah, right yeah. to purchase the real estate upon which. Generally, I would just say that generally real estate is, um, when we transact, there's a transaction for the sale of real estate, it includes not only the land but the improvements thereon. It's generically the way it's done. If you'd like to, if you'd like to amend, have a second amendment to the article to, to state real estate and improvements, that, that. Yes. Thank you. Perhaps. Yeah. But we have to sell it. And would you folks who make the motion accept that as a friendly amendment to the state and improvements? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Did we have to vote on the first? It's a friendly no, amendment. No, they accepted it as part of their amendment. So uh -huh. we don't have to vote on that as an amendment to the amendment. <laughs> Trying to keep it as simple as possible. Thank you. So, yes, John Winston. In the answer, of the issue is simple. I need some clarity about referring to Article 2 in the language here versus this other piece of paper with the option on it. But it seems like you keep on referring to this as a true language as opposed to what the warning is. Okay. Um, sure. The, 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 the warning language, again, going back to the original amendment, is authorization for the school board to negotiate and sign this document, which may, be, which may change at, over time. When, when I've been asked questions about how this, you know, what this might be, I'm referring back to the draft language right now because that we have right now because that is effectively what we have to talk about. Okay? And then guys, one other question was a little bit unclear. Where does the buck stop with this? For the select board and or school board? Well, I, I am not sure how to answer that except to say that as I understand this motion, we're authorizing the school board to take exactly. action. I mean, did these people are referring to and the select board, and I'm just not sure what that relationship would be of the two. I think the school board is the authorized, is the authority. Of the right. We work collaboratively, collaboratively with the select board. Why I'm sure. yeah. I'll like to I'll also address that too. Um, so, um, in order to convey, for a school district to convey real estate, its board has to be authorized by the voters to do so. That's why this is being done at a school district meeting. So, but in order for the town to accept that document, or to, or to accept that conveyance, there does not have to be a town vote as well. The select board act, acting under its own authority can do that. Okay? For the discussion or question, yes. This is just a question, Nadine Martin. Um, given the changed language and that what we're doing is authorizing the school board to do something, with all the best of intentions, if you didn't do it, what would the outcome be? Mm -hmm. I well, don't know that there's a choice if the voters vote to do it. What would uh, we do? Well, to do it, I can't hear it. Just what if they can't agree or can't do it? There's the danger moving ahead because the property is conveyed to the consolidated board and no longer belongs to the town of Cowles. It's been bought and paid for by the town of Cowles. And this provides us, you know, in the supposed articles within the legislation that has been pushed down on us, you know, that there it is supposed to be returned if it ever ceases to be used as a, as a the school should be, you know, sold and given back to the town for a dollar. But we don't trust that because that is something that future consolidated boards will have the ability to change. And that is isn't because we would be a big, a small minority. And it's a big asset. So this gives us, this protects the rights of the town, which has paid for this, maintained this. You know, it locks that down for us. And so, <clears throat> the, from my perspective, this authorizing the board to enter into this agreement or to, to negotiate this agreement okay. is an added layer to what we already should be getting through the Articles of Agreement with the Unified District. This is just our way of ensuring that to happen. So we have a real interest in making sure that it does. If we were not to be able to come up with a solution, we would be at the will of the Articles of Agreement with the Unified District, which do outline essentially the same or similar thing. But to address the immediate term, I would just say that we, we've met with the Select Board um, we all agreed with the intention of these documents. We've also met at our own school board meeting, I think in February, um, and we discussed the documents, we approved the documents. We just haven't gotten to the formal process of then going 
back to the select board, moving them from draft to final to approval, but we're on that path. I don't see any obstacle to okay, us as a board completing the process. Okay, it's yeah. done in agreement and collaboration with the select board. It really is just really protecting the rights of the town because we aren't very trusting of what, after our experience in there four years, <laughs> not at all trusting of what. So there was a friendly amendment that we that we would negotiate or we would sign this prior to July one of this year. We will cease to exist at that at that point. Well, as a, do it before the, July one point, yeah. point is is then the consolidated so report. So we want to right. be safe, which I don't make sure that we get right. this. That's so why we are you know, the, the board of authority. <clears throat> Sorry, two last questions. Or did somebody else want to go first? Somebody did want to go. All right. But they okay, will keep you from asking your question. Yeah. Go ask your question because I already called on the question. Hey, I've had my hand up for a long well, time. I'm not getting So, so uh, school board member Chris Catterick brought up that the friendly amendment said by July 1. July 1 is too late, so it would be before, prior to July 1 should be the friendly amendment. It's number one. And number two, and to yeah. Nadine's yeah. concern, quite frankly, the politics with all this Act 46 hey. consolidation have made me sick to my stomach, as well as many people across our district, or, or multiple districts. Um, what, would it be appropriate, uh, Jim, um, to, instead of saying authorize, say direct the, the school board in that way, it's not, that would not be appropriate? Okay. Authorize is the proper term. Okay. So uh, my question's been answered. Thank you. Two last questions. Would there be any limitations on the town for the use of the building? If this goes through, if you, if you go through with this, and the other one is, uh, have other towns done this, or are we kind of up in the air about whether this will work? I think Jim thinks it's going to be more Sure. Um, uh, as to uh, limitations on the town's use, um, the, the pledge and the option presently exactly. is that uh, for its part in this partial consideration for the district granting the town an option to purchase the subject premises. The town covenants and agrees that for so long as economically practicable or practical, it will endeavor to maintain the subject premises for community, civic, and public use. So, perhaps, yeah, you know, sort of public use. So that that would be the, the school pledges that so long as it's economically practical, it'll be available for use by the public. And, and are the other, is this is this uh, like are we treading? Are we, are we treading? Um, um, no. Um, the town of Newberry and Newberry School District uh, entered into a similar agreement for the Newberry School, a uh, Newberry Elementary School property um, under very similar circumstances to what you were experiencing here in Cowles. And that was effectively the model of doing this. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we've shared this with the other districts in the. Sorry? We've also shared all of this information with the other districts in our supervisory union as a point of interest to see if they wanted to do the same. Okay, thank you. Can we call the question? Well, not, you don't need to if you're ready for me to read the amendment. You can skip one vote. Okay. I was just going to ask you to state. Okay, so as I understand the amendment, which is what we're on, the article would read Shall the voters of the Cal School District authorize the school board? prior to July 1 to approve a grant of an option agreement from the Callis School District to the okay. town of Callis, which gives the town of Callis the right to purchase the real estate upon which the Callis Elementary School is currently located and improvements from the Callis School District or its successors in interest for the purchase price of $1 in the event the property is no longer used 
educational purposes. I think the date that um, a friendly amendment was so it's June 30th. I think prior, if we say prior, prior to, to July 1, one it achieves yeah. the same. Oh, all right. I think I'm going to make sure. No, Jim said it's fine the way it is. I did? Yeah. So we don't have to worry about it. Are you ready for that question? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Adopted the amendment. Do we reread the main question as it is? Or can we proceed? Yes. 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 one since we're since we've added the friendly amendment to do so prior to July 1 saying the school board is as effective as saying callous just in case that matters to folks I, I just left out the word callous so if everybody understands that that was what I intended to say I won't meet it again are you ready for the amendment all those in favor of the amendment please say aye aye, aye. aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. You've approved the amendment. So, are you ready to vote on Article 3 as amended? <coughs> Seeing no hands, all those in favor of Article 3 as amended, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Article aye. 3 carries. Article 4 reads Shall the voters of the Callis School District approve 
the use agreement between the Callis School District and the Town of Callis, which gives the Town of Callis the right to use the real estate and buildings owned by the school district or its successors in interest for certain public purposes as specified in the use agreement for a period of 10 years. Did somebody move this article? So moved. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Do we have discussion? So we'll amend this the same way. Okay. Okay. Shall the voters of the Cal School District <laughs> authorize the Cal School okay. Board to approve the use agreement prior to July 1? Okay, second to the amendment. Second. Discussion. Uh, I, I would also change the 10 years to either uh, to a time to strike it. To strike it. Specified in use agreement. So to strike it. Last. Are you proposing it? Are you both? Is this a friendly amendment to strike those last words? For a period of 10 years. Striking for a period of 10 years. That's okay. Okay. We have an amendment on the floor. Yes. I got a question on this property use agreement. Is this the, all, the plate, all the ideas you're going to let happen here? Emergency shelter, recreational town buildings, and elections? If this thing is the form of the town stands? Greg, can you speak up, please? Greg, Are you going to be able to do other things with the building except what is listed in this document? This document so, locks us in. So this is, th these two, Article 3 and 4, are both in the event or during the time that this building is owned by the Consolidated Board of all the six towns, this is what we as Calus have the right to use the building for. So now if the Consolidated Board decides to sell this property and Article 2 comes into effect and we buy it back for a dollar, then we can do whatever we want with it. Further discussion? Huh? I just have a question about that. I thought we were averting Consolidated board owning it by passing Article Two. No, that's that's only in the event that the unified district no longer uses it for school oh, yes, purposes. Yes, yes, right. Okay. Thank you. Up over here. Yes. So, so what's the difference between the easement? Please speak up. What's the difference between the easement and this use agreement? I don't know. That's so. a legal question. <laughs> that's a question. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, the use agreement is just an agreement between the town and the school board to allow the town to certain uses, uses of the building and the property. The easement creates an encumbrance on the title to the property um, to, to make sure that that use agreement or those rights stay with the property even if it changes hands. The purpose of doing that is that the articles of agreement um, specify that when the property is transferred over to the um, Union District Board. It's transferred subject to all encumbrances of record. So the notion is, is creating an encumbrance by this easement deed so that this will always have to go with the school. And the, use <laughs> the use agreement, the difficulty with the use agreement is that um, we probably couldn't create a use agreement of perpetual duration. Okay, that it would have to have a defined term and then be refined. Or, uh, 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 renewed for certain periods, um, and it also doesn't run with the land. Um, we could have, uh, you know, changes happen. So this, the easement, the easement creates a more perpetual permanent right. It goes with the title of the property that runs with the land. But the easement doesn't guarantee they can use it. No, the easement does guarantee it can. It well, can why do we need the use agreement? Um, it adds some detail that's not in the in the. Um, Easement deed. Just some detail and some nuance about how to be used. Um, if I might make a comment on this topic, unless there's an objection. Um, Jim, as you think about how this and the school board is constructed in, in my work world, we have on open on land mm -hmm. public access easements mm -hmm. that are perpetual. Mm -hmm. And I just would ask you to think about whether there can be what you really want is a public access.
access to it for emergency shelter for town meeting and so on. So maybe there's a way to construct something that's stronger than the use of here. If I might just do, the, the, the easement fee does create rights not only for the town but also for the public, the public access easement for those purposes, so we try to, try okay. to think of that. Um, the, you know, the detail and the nuance that's not in the easement deed that's in the use agreement, the use agreement addresses things like insurance, um, it addresses things like indemnification, um, it addresses some of the things that we wouldn't normally put in an easement deed and ex expect to exist in perpetuity. Um, it seems to me the whole Act 46 Unified District thing was all about a fear that we might lose callous kids to East Montville. And all I'm hearing today is real estate. I'm not hearing anything about retaining this as an edu educational institution for callous kids. Is that correct? Um, well, today, you're right, because today's meeting is yeah. really about the future is uncertain. What can we put in place? What can we control at this moment? And here's something we can do. Well, we're controlling real estate. We're not controlling the education of our kids. Right, exactly. so we don't have a legal exactly. mechanism. I, I to just want clarity. Yes. Okay. And then the second part is there's nothing here that would identify the college <laughs> residents to take care of Berlin or East Montpelier Elementary Schools. Is that correct? Nothing that we would have authorization to do. We can't do that. No. We can't. I'll do that. Further discussion of the amendment. If not, I'm going to read the amendment as best I, I understood we had all the friendly amendments to it. Uh, shall the voters of Callis School District authorized the Callis School Board prior to July 1 to enter into a use agreement between the Callis School District and the Town of Callis, which gives the Town of Callis the right to use the real estate and buildings owned by the Callis School District or its successors and interest for certain public purposes as specified in the use agreement, period. Are you ready for that question? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? And the ayes have it, Article 4 is passed. Article 5 is to transact any other business that may legally come before the meeting. Point of order. That was for the amendment. Yes. Uh, oh, so thank you. Aye. Are you ready to vote on the article as amended? If so, all those in favor of the article as amended, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? But now Article 4 is passed. Thank you. <laughs> article 5 is to transact any other business that may legally come before the meeting. Any succession? Any succession from the state? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's a school board function. <laughs> All those in favor.
towards the cost of the lawyers um, that will be representing us probably in front of the Supreme Court. So Denise as, is going to be passing the hat, as our school board is going to be passing the hat. We are not expected to use tax dollars. So we're going to be asking for your dollars in addition to your taxes now, to do this. And there's almost 50 people here in the room now at 10 bucks a piece that gets to 500. And I know there are many people in town who are willing um, to put their money forward to get what they want if they can. So we will be um, asking for that money. Um, we haven't decided how to collect it, just have it sent to the town office or to some other thing. That decision hasn't been made, but we need to find a way to say this is where the money needs to be sent, and this and, and I myself want to make it as anonymous as possible. I don't want to know if checks come in fine, and we'll find somebody to take care of them. But I don't want to know who paid what. I don't think anybody does. We just want to collect the money. And to add to that, the lawyers almost universally donated their time. I mean, this is covering court costs and so filing costs. Yeah, so they're, I mean, it's, there have been hundreds of people involved with this around the state. And they're they're unbelievable amounts of effort and time. And any help would really be appreciated. Anything else? Mac, is there a legal defense <laughs> number? Actually, um, it is in the, oh, so I can remember, the Alliance of Black School Board Members. And um, I will put it on Front Porch Forum. Do you all get Front Porch Forum? I'll put it on Front Porch Forum, and I'll, 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 I'll look at that site and tell you where to go on there. And I know there's a place there you can send checks. Um, and. Um, there's, a, there's, we'll an there's an address on that site. Yes, Scott? There's, there's an address on that site where you can send checks. Yes. You can do it on the web. We can do it digitally. I did it myself already at least once. <laughs> Something like that, Kate Well, they had a GoFundMe. Yeah. 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 Have you going to put an explanation on front porch form also <laughs> with the intent is for raising that money? Yes, I will. Okay. Yeah, but I was kind of waiting to get through a few other things. And, That's fine. Uh, now is a good time to do it. We're okay. all looking for it. And you'll be talking to your neighbors and other people on your email. So that will be good. Truthfully, this is a bigger issue. You know, we need to be pressing still hard on our legislators.
would, could educational purposes mean district offices or storage or something like that? No, it, you, you read the language, it's very specific about education of children. Okay, thank you. In a, in a, in a approved, I don't remember the exact language, but it's very specific about approved as an educational school. purposes, yeah. as an act of school. Okay, great, thank you.